This case is interesting because it illustrates a potential complication of femtosecond laser cataract surgery, or in this particular instance, uh, femtosecond laser lens replacement. I had experienced this exact situation on a laser cataract surgery procedure about one month prior to this one using the LensX femtosecond laser. On the case prior to this one, I found that the capsulotomy was incomplete and tried to use a cystotome and eutrotic capsulorexis forceps to merge a manual capsulorexis in a connect the dots fashion with the femtosecond laser created capsulorexis. That case ended up with an anterior capsule extension, which is less than desirable. So, as the saying goes, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Recognizing that this bubble pattern of the LensX femtosecond laser capsulorexis was virtually identical to the pattern seen the month prior, I planned to make a manual capsulorexis with a diameter that was smaller than the 4.8 millimeter programmed capsulorexis that was performed by the femtosecond laser. It is easy to fall prey to thinking that this capsulotomy is simply incomplete and that the surgeon can simply separate any anterior capsule tags. If you see this pattern, it represents either a partial capsulotomy that is incomplete or no capsulotomy. Let's pause the video and explain what we observed during the femtosecond laser portion of the procedure. The dock and applanation went normally. The only unusual difference during the lens X laser application was that the primary incision for the cornea would be observable for about eight seconds where we would see on the monitor the laser incising the cornea. In this case, the cornea incision began but was only visible on the screen as incising the cornea for about three seconds. What probably happened was that the imaging of the femtosecond laser was more posterior than what was represented by the LensX imaging system. Therefore, we will see normal femtosecond laser bubble patterns, but they are being applied posterior to where the imaging system showed them to be. Now, back to the case at hand. We completed the capsulorexis to be between 4 and 4.5 millimeters in diameter, inner to the femto capsulorexis. We did our usual hydrodissection, hydrodelineation, phacoemulsification, irrigation, and aspiration. We see the pupil becoming meiotic and limiting our view of the peripheral cortex. To enable visualization, of the periphery, I use a second instrument, a Kuglin hook made by Titan Surgical to push and pull the iris to facilitate thorough cortical cleanup of the capsular bag. I'm fairly compulsive about cleaning the capsular bag thoroughly to minimize postoperative inflammation, capsular fibrosis, and the need for a YAG capsulotomy. So I polish the posterior capsule thoroughly as well as the posterior surface of the anterior capsule. This patient is a 55 year old that is having laser lens replacement to correct her nearsightedness, astigmatism, and presbyopia. Her pre-op prescription on this eye is minus 13.75 plus 1.5 at 113, yielding 2015 vision. She, like so many of our patients who are between age 45 and 55, are expecting nothing but the best, and we expend the time toward that endeavor. Now that we've cleaned the capsular bag, we use viscoelastic to expand the pupil. We want to see where the femtosecond laser cut the capsule relative to our manually created capsulorexis. We also take this time using a Singer sweeper made by Epsilon Instruments to polish the posterior surface of the capsule closest to the primary incision. Also, we discover a subincisional cortical remnant that we can now remove. We see that the femtosecond laser, in fact, did not cut the capsule at all. There might be one tiny splinter of the capsule that was touched by the laser, 
but overall the lens X laser missed the capsule entirely. So the take home message, when you see this pattern, don't be fooled. Proceed with caution. The rest of the procedure went well. We placed the symphony toric lens and the patient saw great the next day. I hope you found this video useful and can learn from this situation should you encounter it in the future. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.